Republican Senator Lindsey Graham is an advisor to the McCain campaign, and Democratic Senator Joe Biden supports Barack Obama. Gentlemen, good morning to both of you. Good morning. So, good morning, so it was good morning. It was interesting. Yesterday we had these two candidates laying out the basics, the fundamentals of their foreign policies for voters to take a look at. Senator Graham, I want to start with you and pick one, if you will. What is the most glaring difference in the approaches these two men will take? Well, I think it's the understanding of how the, the war is to be prosecuted. When Senator Obama says Iraq is not a central battle in the war on terror, that is a huge difference between him and Senator McCain. General Petraeus said in April that for al-Qaeda, Iraq is their central battle front. If we had lost in Iraq, al-Qaeda would have claimed victory, Iran would have been emboldened. So the idea that a, a, a failed state in Iraq would not affect uh, the war on terror in general is a huge difference. John right. understood that. That's why he risked his career for the surge to make sure we wouldn't lose. Senator Biden, what do you see? What is the most significant, significant difference in their approaches? The central war on terror and even General Petraeus as well as our own ambassador to Iraq in questioning by me in the Foreign Relations Committee said that central war against al-Qaeda is in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Even John McCain has now switched his position acknowledging he has to send more troops to Afghanistan. He cannot send them anywhere but from Iraq. This is a, not about being the commander in chief of Iraq. It's about being commander in chief of U.S. interests around the world. Barack Obama called for sending more troops to Afghanistan over a year ago. And what our generals want and what you're going to see Petraeus let, ask for. Let me stick with you, Senator Biden, for a second, because I'm a little confused by Senator Obama. During the primary campaign, he, when the level of violence in Iraq was at a, at a heightened level, and, and insurgent violence and, and violence within the Civil War, he said, we've got to get these American troops home in 16 months. Then last week, when the level of violence had come down significantly, he said, well, wait a minute, I'm going to meet with generals on the ground and maybe we have to refine that policy. Now, yesterday he was back to 16 months. Where's the logic here? The logic is simple. The logic is that we have to draw down in Iraq in order to secure Iraq as well as secure Afghanistan. That both They both require drawing down American troops in Iraq. What he said is not inconsistent. He said, my policy as president will be to tell the military we must draw down in Iraq and increase in Afghanistan. But I will listen to them as to precisely how to do that. All right. He still thinks, and I think it right. done in 16 months, but we'll see. All right, Senator Graham, Senator McCain says the surge is working. We should stay until victory. I guess my question for you is, what now is the definition of that victory? Is it an end to insurgent violence? Is it a victory in the war on terror? What does he see as victory? A victory would be a stable government that we left behind. History will judge us not by when we left Iraq, Matt, but what we left behind. From a national security perspective, from an American view, victory is a stable functioning government where the people in Iraq live under the rule of law. Al-Qaeda has no safe haven and they contain Iranian ambitions in the region. A stable functioning government allied with us on the war on terror. And the biggest victory coming out of Iraq is that Muslims, with our help, took up arms against Al-Qaeda sympathizers. Anytime a Muslim will fight Al-Qaeda agents and sympathizers, we're safer. Right. That's what happened from the surge. I'm going to ask you the impossible 10 seconds <laughs> each on these. There's a story in the news this morning that the Bush administration is is going to send a top-level diplomat to take part in a meeting with a top-level Iranian diplomat. The discussion, of course, will be about Iran's nuclear program. Senator Graham, is this the, it sounds like a departure. Is it the right decision? We've already had meetings with the uh, Iranian officials. Ambassador Crocker met with them. I want to meet. I don't want my president to sit down with uh, Abnadinejad without conditions and elevate him. And that Senator Biden? Terrible. I love these guys. Lindsay, you're good. The fact of the matter is it's long overdue. The fact of the matter is it answers the question that John McCain asked. Why would anybody want to meet with the Iranians? You want to meet with the Iranians to change their conduct, let them know exactly where we are, let the Iranian people know we're prepared. We're prepared to talk. It's not us. It's their leadership. That's why you meet. That's why Burns is meeting. That's why the president's got it. All That's right. why John McCain still is not ready to be commander in chief. Senator Biden, you owe me 15 seconds back, but that's okay. I appreciate it. Senator yeah, you Graham. Give him more time. Man. You got you it out easy, man. I know. Senator Graham, Senator Biden. Guys, thanks to both of you. I appreciate it.